All right, hello everyone. Hello. We're doing a speed install while I eat first dinner. Zoom. We didn't have content for the week, but what do I have? A new bumper that needs to go on, so that's going on. So for anyone that isn't aware, um, this is my OEM bumper I ordered with my Jeep. This is a 2018 JLUR. Steel bumper group. I've had this bumper on literally since before I picked it up, so it's ready to go. Um, but I bought a half fab ultra clearance rear bumper over their Black Friday sales. Got it powder coated. I moved up here to Connecticut where we are now. Um, not the cod. Cod, not the cod. Not a cod. Yeah. So, anyways, that's what we're up to. I'll put links for um, the bumper down below and, um, for anyone that's still in the area where we got it powder coated. Uh, DJ's, right? DJ's powder. DJ's powder coating. Really nice guy. Okay. I like a speed install. Speed. kind of see in here there are a couple different places where it's hit this bumper is pretty solid but it's not rock solid if you come down on something really hard like I clearly did um, it will dent your tub so how many bolts are there back there well you got to take these bolts off okay which, uh, and what yeah. socket size are you using? These are 16 millimeters. 16 millimeters. Yeah, because we're gonna have to take. Oh, I gotta take those out too. Mm -hmm. Your bumper's a little different than mine. Yeah. Didn't have these in there. Well, yours was the plastic. Yeah. So this is a little bit different. Take these bolts out. These are some probably like a. 30 or 40, but I can't find mine, so. We're just taking it out with what I got. Size 22. 22, lucky. So this little thing held the weird, funky little plastic filler that went in there. Yeah, you don't have to take this off. You can take it off with the bumper, I'm pretty sure, but. Yeah. It's hard to take it mostly off. You may as well. Same thing on the other side. Let the toe hook piece off. Mm -hmm. Let get that toe hook piece off. Yeah, it's gotta come off. I don't need to be recovered. Never. Never. <coughs> this connect your rear license plate light. about body damage earlier, the bumper did this Ooh. as well. Really? I agree, it was great. Anyways, long story short, disconnect the board. <laughs> so what Chaz is plugging, you can kind of see here, pulled off some bits. And we don't need this part, so we're covering the electrical tape for right now. License plate light wires is there taped up for now. We will get to it some other time, but yeah. that is what we did for now. <coughs> Those are kind of the, the two big boys. Yeah. 
think it's basically those two, and then I think there's these guys. Yeah, the two on the other side. Oh, Which is double as holding the, the tow hook in as well. Yeah. trying to find some piece and we found it. Uh, so this goes inside of the frame. So passenger side frame, there's nothing beyond these holes. So this actually sits in there. So the bolts coming up can have something to screw into. You can kind of see the threads in there. It's counterpart on the driver's side already has stuff to screw into. So, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing on. Notice it is nighttime now. That is because we were looking for things. It also should be noted that I packed that in North Carolina, like, yes. <laughs> well, there Months we go. Months ago. Yeah, I packed that back in North Carolina in early, mid-January. Yeah. And it's survived to move all the way up here, multiple unpackings and yes. rummaging is still here so yes welcome back we are back at it again later the same night later the same night it is now like 40 something degrees out but i got the bolts yeah. got the bolts every project's either one a slows or home depot run away from being complete ain't that the truth so yes yeah. half inch so, bolts we're gonna get this guy do it 